international tax is a focus at Andersons or Mulan because in our Great Falls office we're so close to the Canadian border and now with our Haver office we're even closer and we have many clients that pop back and forth and that realize they have filing requirements and so that's really where we've gotten into this area and that's taken us all over the world we have clients everywhere and it's been a really exciting area to get into. Taxpayers need a variety of information based on their individual facts and circumstances. There's a, a joke with accountants that our answer is always it depends and in this case it really does. U.S. citizens have to report their worldwide income even if they're reporting some of that to another country. U.S. green card holders they fall into the same sort of situation as U.S. citizens where it doesn't matter where they live in the world they still have to report their worldwide income to the United States every year. And then you know you have temporary residents in the U.S. and you have U.S. citizens who are invested abroad and you have um, you know, non-U.S. people abroad who are invested in the U.S. So it really just depends on what, they're, what they have going on and that's where we're here to help. They, there's a, an account in Canada called a tax-free savings account which is similar to our Roth IRAs in the U.S. and Congress hasn't recognized those as something similar to a U.S. plan and so those again are considered foreign trusts and again there are two forms required and you know each of those forms is about eight pages long it takes a ton of information we ask lots of questions and um, that can be a, a definite surprise for people when they run into that not complying with US tax filing requirements um, can trigger very high penalties a lot of these forms that international people have to file or people with international activities have to file um, they don't actually calculate tax and so when somebody's filing a tax return, there's tax calculated, and if they don't file it on time, then they can assess interest and penalties, and they can incentivize people to file. Well, they don't have those same incentives with these information forms, so what they've done is they've tacked on really high penalties. So my rule of thumb, and it's not exact, it's just a rule of thumb, but pretty much for every form that's required but not filed, it's a $10,000 penalty per form per year. And that adds up really quickly. Typically what we see the most often because we're so close to the Canadian border are U.S. citizens who live in Canada and have since they were little. You know, they either were born down here when their parents were in college and they moved up or their parents lived up there and naturalized them. Um, and so they just never knew they had to file. And so they, they meet that non-willful component of the Streamline program. They file, they get caught up, there's no penalty. A lot of times there's no tax because they can offset the US tax with the Canadian foreign tax credits and and move forward and you know we've had success with that program with people from all over the world we have a, a client who worked in Montana for years and years and he built up a pension here with his employer in the US but he was from Canada and so when he retired he and his wife moved back to Canada and we were able to save him roughly six thousand dollars in tax just in this year because of the treaty provision that reduces the rate on pensions that are paid from one country to another. The most important aspect to remember when you're filing a U.S. return or deciding what you need to report um, is that a U.S. citizen has to report everything. They have to report worldwide income regardless of where they live and that's the same with a U.S. green card holder even if they think they're not a green card holder anymore because it expired you know, several years ago. If they haven't filed official paperwork, they still fall under these tax rules. And I guess the second most important thing to remember is that's what we're here for. You know, um, the rules are very complex. The amount of information we need in a lot of cases is huge. And we can help people through that process. And that's, we do a lot of that. We have checklists set up to walk people through that. And um, I think that's where our value comes in.